Hey everybody, what's going on? Anonymous TK is back with a Knot of War. And this time we're going up against HR2, that's Hell's Reject 2. This is a 16 million, over 16 million uh, PI alliance. Uh, this is the second, uh, actually, uh, alliance of the Hell's Reject. The first one is uh, at place 14, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going up against the second one. Uh, again, this alliance has more PI than us, um, and we're going to go ahead and stick to our regular path 8, and this time, unlike the other ones, I was the first to get in, and uh, I, uh, I was the pioneer in this war, so I used up my energy, most of it, to clear the first node, and on the first node, we have... A science champion I see that it's a five-star science champion that is awakened uh, usually we go up against quake we went a couple of times against quake on this node and there we have another quake but this is a five-star we mess up in the beginning of the fight we get our health like over half down but we're fighting with blade so we do have the class advantage and we do have the regen that we have by holding the block uh the fight is pretty much simple you just bait the first and the second special you have to try to get to the second because it's a lot easier to uh to bait it and you don't have those uh shock or whatever um debuffs on you the run out so it's not gonna as you guys see it's not a hard fight right here we are taking the advantage of the duplicated ability of blade and we get now our health up to 70 percent and from there and on we can start chipping her down and just taking her and um well killing her at the end As I said, pretty forward fight. There is no need to extend too much, other than um, we're gonna have a little aftershock on us in a second. After this debuff expires, and we're gonna lose a little bit of health from seventy to about sixty. But that's not a problem. We're gonna use our third special. Hoping that it will get it down. I was positive it's gonna get it down, but at the end she was still standing. But a bleed for the win. As I said, our energy is almost done, but by the miracle of um, editing. Whoop, we continue to the next target. That's the next day already. 40% uh, more poison effects. But I don't remember that any of the skill champions have poison. So I said, let's go in with Blade. What can happen? And with Blade, we're going up against Karnak. Karnak is a very easy champion to counter. You just bait the first special just swipe back a little bit and then you can punish him and even if you get him to the second special it's not a big deal since you're gonna see in a second how you can evade that second special it's a swipe back for the kick he kicks the he kicks the floor and then just swipe back for um, for the projectile I'm trying to bait that at first special, but he doesn't want to throw it. So I said, come on, let's just go ahead and do it. Oh, he threw it in one there. Easy. For here, from here, we're going to... Going to the second section, we have another 5-star champion, another science 5-star champion. Again, 
bleed immune and limber 20 percent taking blade we're going to use that class advantage and we're going up against the best champion in the game she hulk well she hulk is a very easy champion to beat both of our specials are um, easy to dodge but you have to when you're dodging the first special she comes at you she and you have to wait until she dashes back and only then uh, you can punish uh, that special because if you dash in too early you will not get into her you will uh, come uh, come up short and she will uh, counter your counter so you have to wait and even the second special super easy to dodge just swipe back one more five hit combo with a third a second special and we're getting her down all the lineup was super easy to clear we got full bonus uh, full attacker bonus um, achievement on all of those fights and right now we have the last fight because well we got another free node on our path and right here I'm seeing it's a um, cosmic champion and we have flare and I'm thinking I, I haven't noticed that is a six star champion actually I'm just noticing right now so when I was fighting I was I was thinking it's a five star one and I was thinking as long as it's not Hyperion but this is a six star champion uh, six star King Groot you just need to remember not to um, parry him when he has the fury buffs up but other than that we just killed that King Groot six star King Groot that was uh, even now I'm kind of watching it and uh, wow it was like it was a fast kill uh, from here and on we are going to the mini boss and the mini boss that we're gonna go against is um, the one and only Modok one of the most pain champions to fight you have like a few champions handful of ones and Modok is uh, one of the top champions that is so annoying to fight and just don't know what he's going to do he's got immunity to the debuff effects so we can't parry him if we could that would be awesome we can use Archangel against him immune to bleed and poison so we're gonna try and bait those heavy attacks and try to hit those intercepts and we're gonna hit him only four times because If we're gonna hit the fifth one and miss, that's gonna be a big problem. Right now, he's gonna he's gonna evade my uh, hit. Did you see that? Again, one evade or something, and just came at me with this, the first special. I don't know how he does that. If you guys have any idea how he does that, please let me know in the comment section down below. It's not the first time it happens that in the middle of my combo, he just comes at me, he comes back at me. So I went over his um, abilities again and again and couldn't find anything that suggests that he can do that. So if you know what's going on with that, please do let me know. I'll appreciate it. So still shocked from whatever happened there. I'm trying to go in with uh, magic got a couple of hits in but basically that's a massive fail I can't do anything right now but after this fight I was like kinda took a second for myself gathered and I said we only have blade left and even though blade has uh, f almost full health like 70% health and he has the his advantage over um, Modok the danger sense we need to play 
perfect to get him down. And that's what I'm trying to do. I got my uh, four hit combos. Trying to counter him any single uh, and uh, every single time that I can. I messed up here a little bit and got like 60% of my health lost in one special. And still trying to do my best, nailing my intercepts. Not going for the five hit combos, only the four ones. Ending on a light attack, and ending on a, a yeah, light attack, not the medium one. There we go, easy by easy, baiting the special one. Right here, if he was not bleed immune, it, the bleed should have taken him down. But even with that, I had two less of a health. And even while blocking the, the first special, he got me down. From here on, on I'm um, thinking, what should we do? We have the Ramamu left, and we're probably going to take him down. So I was thinking to revive. He only has like eleven and a half thousand left, so I'm going like to revive and use uh, a couple of health potions. And I'm thinking, which one should I leave for Dormammu, and which one should I use? Ghost Rider is not going to be good against Dormammu, so I'm going to use him against Modok right here. But Ghost Rider is one of the worst champions to go up against Modok. And I kind of suck fighting him. So <laughs> I lost. I gave them another um, kill. But I was determined to take him down. Took my blade in for the last hit. And I want you to notice this again, what happens here. We go in for two hits. One, two, and he parries me. Look at it. One and parry. I don't know how he parried me. It was supposed to be the force field. And I checked his uh, abilities. Force field does not parry so if you have any idea how that happened i would be very much appreciative of it to know other than that it was a pretty good uh, war we took down that dormammu uh, i didn't have the chance of fighting him my uh, alliance members did a great job uh, taking him down so this time i have no boss footage uh, we uh, ended up losing this war just because we wasn't were not diverse enough, and they had way more uh, defensive kills than us. But you know, you win one, you lose some. I mean, you win some, you lose some. We're gonna win the next one. Thank you so much for guy uh, for watching the video. Subscribe, share, and like. And I'll and you see me in the next one. How'd you get so